click in the bin project window and let's go ahead and grab this reference movie and at this point all I'm gonna do is right mouse click to set up a new timeline so I get my timeline playing correctly so here's my timeline and what I'm gonna to want to do is just go ahead and make sure that this uh, scrubs out the way that I uh, expect it to and there we go. It's alright, Ryan. It's alright. It's alright, Ryan. Right, Ryan. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Now, from this point, all I'm going to do now is just go ahead and make sure my links are set correctly. So I'm going to click on my timeline up here, and I'm just going to set the end action, which is over here on the properties panel, just to basically uh, loop on itself. And the last thing you want to do is just click in the gray area of the project window here and click on your title button here and tell it that if you push the title button on the remote it's basically going to start the video over again as well. Now I'm ready to bring up the build window. Okay so my format is set to Blu-ray. My output I could either go ahead and do a Blu-ray disc or image. In this case I'll go ahead and just burn a disc. It sees my Blu-ray burner here which is a standard uh, Machitza uh, 5582. I'll go ahead and just check the project here and have it start for any errors there. So that looks like that's pretty good. So it's not going to give me any error, errors once it builds. And I can go ahead and say auto erase uh, rewritable disk, which is what I'm using here. And at this point, I'm going to go ahead and just select build. And it'll go ahead and transcode the video. Uh, again, depending on how much video you've got, this can be a fairly quick process. Uh, or a fairly long process. So in some cases it can be faster than real time if you're doing uh, MPEG 2 uh, to Blu-ray single pass is uh, pretty pretty quick again a little faster than real time and if you've got MPEG uh, 2 dual pass uh, turned on for your encoding then that's going to be about a 2 to 1 and again with H.264 uh, single pass that's about a three or four to one, and uh, on uh, H.264 dual pass, uh, that's probably more between a four to one to six to one compression times. Again, it all depends on your source, but uh, th those are general numbers here. And there's my Blu-ray disc now ejecting, and what I'm going to do is just run it upstairs and go throw it in the PS3 and watch its playback.